All right, what's up everybody? It's Paul Riley here with Patriot Shit Outfitters. And I've been telling everybody for quite a while that there's a company on Facebook selling tactical ballistic helmets as level 3A uh, battle helmets. And that those claims are 199% false. They are complete and utter BS. They are nothing more than an airsoft bump helmet with a fancy NIJ rating attached to it that simply does not exist. So we had already shot one of these already, and because I botched up the video, I went ahead and donated another 100 bucks to the company to get us another one out, now that I've got some better recording equipment. And uh, we're gonna try not to botch this one up like we did the last time. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna unbox this level 3A Kevlar combat helmet that came to me from a company called Top Gentle. There is several knockoff companies uh, that are that are the same company. All, if you buy from any of them, they all ship from the same location. So uh, they're, they're all just a bunch of fake companies operating on, under one entity that is ripping off Americans that are uh, gullible enough to buy these and actually believe that they are level 3A. First of all, you cannot buy level 3A anything for $100. You can't even buy a single level 3A chest plate for $100. So thinking that you're going to get a tactical ballistic helmet for a hundred bucks is kind of your own bad. You know, I bought the first one with my fingers crossed in hopes that somebody somewhere just got a really good deal and was able to offer some really cool low priced items. But once I got it home and did the ballistics testing on it, nope, no bueno, no good. They're junk. Uh, it's cute though. The box says, professional helmet manufacturer that's adorable uh, it took almost a month to get this because when you pull up the tracking number on it it was clearly shipping from Beijing China it said so right on the, the tracking tracking number so I mean it's they're, they're not even really trying to hide that they're fraudulently claiming that these uh, are made in America when they're clearly and 100% absolutely not made in America. But why would I be surprised? Because they're also not NIJ certified and they're also not ballistic. They, they offer zero ballistic protection. So let's get her out of here, do an unbox, an unboxing video. Uh, some foam paper, some bubble wrap. And there's the helmet. Now it's relatively comfortable. The, the pads are relatively comfortable. But I honestly, these pads that are in this are not the same bad pads that were in the last one. Well, they just Velcro in. <laughs> just a piece of foam. That's all it is. Nothing special, no uh, anything, just a piece of foam. I'm pretty certain that the last one that I got had better padding inside it. This is, this is uh, fairly janky. What am I talking about, fairly janky? This is very janky to just put, you know, foam pads in there. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe that's just what all of them are. I've not got a lot of experience with uh, real deal ballistic helmets. That's why this was so intriguing when I seen them. Seeing it being advertised is like, wow, if that's true, if that's an accurate statement. Oh yeah, this is, there's not even any headgear mounted in this. It's all just sticky back uh, Velcro hook and loop. And there's not even any Velcro on the back of this. They just stuck them to the hook part of the Velcro stickers. So there's actually not even any headgear mounted in here. It's just, it's literally Velcroed in. That might not even be so bad if it was real uh, 3M Velcro, but I know that it's not. It's trash. This headgear, plastic clips right there, and the mounting bracket that goes down to the screw that mounting bracket is plastic as well. So, this is not 
as good of a product as the last one that I got from them. The first one that I got and shot. Okay, so when you, you tweak on it, it'll crack and actually sounds like there's uh, Kevlar in it, but there's not. Where's uh, my phone? That's my alarm for the pork butt we're cooking. I gotta give it a quick rotate real fast. There we go, got that timer set. So just pecking around with it with the, with the pocket knife, not even really putting any effort into it, just literally just sitting here doing that number. Has, uh, I, I'm really at this point, I'm not even confident that this would stop a bow and arrow. So, well, this is part one of today's, this video for you guys. Um, tomorrow, I'm not going to get to shoot it today because I've got this pork butt we're cooking. But the rest of the video will come tomorrow. It will only be a few seconds for you, but it'll be tomorrow for me. Everything about this is just trash. Look at this. I mean, this is what, just from a pocket knife, just pecking at it. Now, I wasn't, it's not like I was over here trying to stab it to death, trying to be all stabby, stabby. You know, I'm just pecking at it to see if there's not even any metal in this. I literally could sit here and do what I'm doing right now and dig all the way through this. And I'm not even trying. I'm just barely tapping. It's... Alright, the rest of the video will be tomorrow. See you then. What's up everybody? Paul Riley here. It's about to get real. We're back with our tactical gent gentle combat ballistic helmet review and torture test. This is the first one that they sent me. I went ahead and kept it just for a souvenir. As you can see, we shot the hell out of that one. Here's our new one. Just got this in the mail the other day. There's the, the knife marks in it from where I was pecking at it yesterday with the Saturday with the knife. I didn't get to make the video yesterday. Uh, I had other stuff going on, so we ended up uh, not being able to do it until today. So here we are. And let me show you what we're going to use. So, a little bit, little bit different uh, loadout than the normal normal loadout for, for doing a torture test. We're going to start out with the big old hand forged knife. Then we're going to move up to the uh, three pound hammer. From the three pound hammer, we're going to go to the uh, hatchet. From the hatchet, we'll go to the 22 long rifle. From the 22 long rifle, we're going to go up to the 16 gauge topper with a spiky yeah boy yeah boy we're gonna see if this thing will stop a spiky i don't think it will we're gonna hit it with a couple of just bird shot rounds too while we're out here playing 16 gauge two and three quarter number eight shot we'll see what happens so without any further ado all right so we're back <clears throat> first test i'm gonna use this hand forged spring steel knife that i picked up from a local gun show and uh, let's see if this will stop. This is level 3A ballistic combat helmet. I'm just curious what's good if we can get through it. Let's try it one more time on this thing. So it stopped it. Not very pretty. Look at that hunk. All right, moving on. The knife was disappointing. Let's hit it with us here, three pound hammer. Cheap ass foam pads. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it caved that helmet right in. 
Didn't go through though, but it did cave it. Did put a nice, nice cave mark in it. So, last one over here before we move up to the ballistics. Right through it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is definitely a hatchet blade right there. All right, so, passed the knife, failed the hammer, failed the hatchet. Let's take it over here and shoot it. What do you think? All right, guys, so, I don't expect this thing to stop the 22. Really, this review is not to prove whether this thing is ballistically rated or not, because I already know that it's not. This video is just to show all the folks out there that are getting ripped off by this company that you're getting ripped off by this company. So, we got the Ruger Wrangler. This was a gift to me from the, from the girlfriend for Christmas. Great little pistol, little eight shot 22 long rifle. We got one loaded in it. Let's send it. The scoop bag just a hair. The scoop bag just a hair. Weapon is clear. So, entry hole, exit hole. 22 long rifle through and through for the top gentle combat ballistics helmet level 3A is a complete lie. It's a complete fabrication. They even claim these are NIJ certified to stop up to a 44 Magnum. I didn't even bring a 44 Magnum out today because I knew that this product would not stop anything. I am questioning whether this thing will even stop a pellet gun, an air-powered pellet gun. If I had one, we would have it out here today trying it, but I don't have an air-powered pellet gun. But what I do got is a 16-gauge topper, and I want to see if the Sarpy spike will go through this. Let's do that. Let's do that now. What do you think? I think that sounds like fun. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Well, it sure is hot out here today. Is it hot where you live at? Just tell me in the comments what the weather's like in your neck of the woods. Because I know here in Ohio, it was cold and nasty and rainy and wet, and then all of a sudden, it was hotter in Hammered Hill. And now it's hotter in Hammered Hill. So, all right, so we got our 16 gauge shot shell, cut it down, dumped out the shot, put some tape on the Sharpie spike to make sure that it would fit in there good and snug, no sloppiness. Let's shoot it. Let's do it. I'm gonna scoot back a couple steps on this one. See if we can put that right through the uh, the hardware to mount optic. Let me bring you up here so you can see this. So that's where she came out. There's the wad. There's all that dust and crap in there. Alright, so let's do this. There's where it went in. Nice big old giant opening. 
right here is some tape hot glue I guess is what that is is what I'm assuming epoxy hot glue something I can't tell whether it came out or not all right, I'm going to pause you. I got to grab my drill and pull this board off of here and so we can see whether this went through. I'll be right back. Didn't go through. Let's see if we can find it. I don't think it's in there. Huh. Ugh. Sweaty out here today. Well... This would be the back of the pen. That's where the tape is. So it drove wood all the way up into the pen. And I got no idea where the spike is. No clue. We lost that one. I don't know where it went. Huh. Hmm. so the pin disintegrated I don't know where the pin went and the sharpie spike is just gone I have no idea where it went it don't look like it's in the board you see where the round hit right there it kind of went sideways into it it may have made it all the way through I don't really know is that it right there? No, that was just a piece of shot. I can only assume. Maybe it disintegrated too. Now, uh, right there's a little piece of metal. It don't feel like lead. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. That's not what we were here to do today. What we were here to do today is to show you that this helmet is trash, and I think I've accomplished that. I'm going to shoot it a couple more times. What do you guys think? I got a couple more 16-gauge shells out here. Let's, uh, let's blow holes in it. Damn spinach cans. Got one more. <laughs> 16 gauge bird shot. Hole goes in, hole comes out. That's just number eight bird shot. Entry hole, exit hole, entry hole, exit hole. 
16 gauge 12 or 16 gauge number 8 bird shot smokes these helmets it is confirmed that they are in fact trash if you order from top gentle ah, so sweaty if you order from top gentle on facebook you're basically volunteering to get fucked uh, that's just the bottom line on it. It's trash. It's fake. It's a bump helmet for airsoft. It, it's. It, I bet you there's even airsoft rifles that'll shoot hard enough to poke holes into this garbage. So do yourself a favor. Know that you're never going to get ballistic protection anything for under, for $100 or less. It's just not going to happen. You're going to end up disappointed. You're going to end up with a hole in your head if you trust this and you put yourself in harm's way thinking that this product is going to keep you safe, you will be dead. You will die if you put yourself in harm's way thinking that this product will protect you. It will not protect you. I, I question whether it would even protect you from falling shrapnel debris, debris from, from an explosion or anything. You know, because over here, that, that three pound hammer crushed the inside of that helmet in. If I'd have been wearing that helmet and got hit with a, with a three pound weight it may have not killed me, but I would have probably did not touch right no more. So, uh, when it comes to your gear, guys, when it comes to your gear, it's always best to just go ahead and save up and get the good stuff versus taking a chance on inferior gear. This product was promoted to be made in the USA. It was promoted to be level 3A. When you look at the tracking, it came from Beijing, China. The company that was selling this has no issue lying to you about where it comes from, the quality of the product, or how badly you get harmed. As a matter of fact, when we shot that first one laying over there, I contacted the company back and said, hey, your product is trash. It doesn't stand up. It's not, it's not ballistically rated. And they were like, oh, well, you can send it back to us. And I'm like, well, do you want this back? It's full of holes. And they said, oh, well, you damaged it? I said, yeah, that was the whole point in buying it, is to make sure that it was ballistically rated. And they said, end quote, we cannot accept returns on items that are damaged. I mean, I guess if you wore this thing out in combat and got yourself shot in the head, they wouldn't have to worry about it, but they completely just spaced on cats like me that have $100 that we can just punch holes through. That's what I did. I've done it twice now. I botched the video the first time. This time the video is going to be great. I hope it's going to be great. Uh, with the purpose of protecting you. This, that's the whole idea of what I'm doing here is to try to protect you from getting ripped off. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here. It's hot. I'm going back into the AC after I clean up my mess. And uh, if you want to support the channel right now, we have no monetization, no sponsorship. If you want to support the channel, if you want to help me keep providing good, cool content and things to shoot at, go visit PatriotShit.com. The link is in the description. That is, my, that is uh, my personal online retail store. I own that company and that business. I pack your orders personally. So if you get on there and you click, click, click buy, I'm the guy that will be packaging your orders up and shipping them out in a timely fashion. So until next time.